Oh, good afternoon, folks. Um, my, I noticed, you know, um, Dr. Chu's slides were up there, and I noticed I hadn't put my name on the slides. I'd like to think that was out of humility. It's not. I just forgot. Um, <laughs> but my name is Terrence Smithers, um, and I, I'm here I, to talk about recovering from identities. As we've discussed many times, you always have a choice, right? You always have a choice, but never take that away from you. So I serve as a manager of training development, uh, and my branch, my program is the RI Consulting and uh, get the opportunity to travel all of the United States and other countries uh, providing uh, recovery trainings from the peer employment training to supervisor training, organizational trainings, uh, as well as the opportunity to speak at conferences around the country. I I'm a person that is both formally educated and I have that lived experience. And, and yet today, my lived experience as a person in recovery from mental health challenges and substance use challenges, that living experience that I have is actually what I use most. The day came where I was actually to train the clinic I had received services in when I was in the public mental health system. It's a two-day training, the first day comes, and in that room was the, the first psychiatrist I had ever had that um, and she didn't say I could never work again. What she said was I'd never have meaningful employment. Um, and, and she really didn't acknowledge me in the two days. Uh, and, you know, there's an old version of me that uh, would have been angry about that. Uh, at the time, though, what I felt really was sadness. Because I realized that if she did speak to me, she would have to let go of what she believes about people with mental health challenges, about the possibility of recovery, and quite literally, anyone's ability to move beyond labels. Too often, I think we work from the law of repulsion. You know, let's make the past look bad enough so you'll stay away from it. But that keeps us in focusing on the past. You know, what if we worked from the law of attraction? It said, what is the life you want? Who is the person you want to be? Where would you like to go? And support that movement, the movement forward. I was told, you know, that I couldn't be, that I can't be, that I must live. And, and I moved beyond every limit that was given to me. So I find it my obligation to invite people forward beyond their limits and their labels. You know, and as we invite people forward, uh, they will pick up that journey. You know, we've, we've seen it time and time again. So instead of a provider and uh, counselor and therapist, et cetera, um, I like to consider myself an invitation into the life that people want for themselves.